scientists say they've seen for the first time signs of dark matter interacting a billion light years away. Now, dark matter is how science describes the mysterious substance that makes up most of the universe. A team of international researchers used the Hubble and the European Southern Observatory Space Telescopes in their findings. So what does this all mean? We can now speak to astronomer Richard Massey, who's the lead author of the report. He's a Royal Society Research Fellow at the Institute for Computational Cosmology, no less, at Durham University. And he joins us live from there. Thank you for talking to us. Um, can you give us, first of all, for those of us who are not astrophysicists, can you no. give us a, a, a very quick definition that will perhaps uh, we'd understand uh, as to what dark matter is? Dark matter is the embarrassment, if you like, of modern science. <laughs> it seems to be the most common stuff in the universe, more common than anything else that there is, anything on the periodic table. And it's embarrassing because even though it's so common, we just don't know what it is. It's, uh, it's invisible, which doesn't help. And uh, we're, we're desperately trying to figure out what it's made out of. Um, OK, so w what you've discovered is, is signs of it interacting <laughs> a billion light years away. So take us through that in lay terms, if you can, and, and tell us how it's going to help our understanding as to how the world operates. So we know that dark matter is really, really important for us. There's lots of it. And uh, we know that it feels gravity. There's so much of it, it's really heavy, that it even pulls together uh, the galaxy that we live in, the Milky Way. The, the Milky Way is spinning so fast that by rights that its stars should have been flung off into outer space by now. But uh, fortunately for us, the, the, the extra gravity from the dark matter holds everything in, in place and makes the Milky Way a nice habitable place to live. Um, no, so we, we know that it, uh, it, this dark matter feels gravity. But the big question is, does it feel anything else? Does it uh, interact with the, rest, with, the, with the universe in any other way? And uh, this is what we've been, uh, we've been trying to discover. Now, the way that you figure out how things um, operate and, and what things are made out of, I mean, if you wanted to do that with a, with a lump of rock, you'd probably pick up a couple of lumps of rock and, and throw them at each other, see where the bits fly. And we've, uh, we, we've done basically the same thing with, uh, with dark matter. We've, we've waited for nature to throw a couple of lumps of dark matter at each other, and we've watched what happens when they, uh, when they collide. What we've, what we've found is that, um, that dark matter doesn't behave in the way that we thought it was if it was just, uh, just feeling gravity. Certainly, what, what, what has happened is that the dark matter didn't end up in the right place that we expected it. And that might be the, the first sign that dark matter cares about the rest of the universe in other ways than through its gravity. So this is really, this discovery is really helping us, well certainly you, understand uh, the nature of the universe and, and how it works. Oh, completely. It's an incredibly uh, uh, exciting uh, discovery. If, if, we're, if we're right about this, um, it's answering questions that have been around for a long time. Since the 1930s, when dark matter was first discovered, we've been trying to figure out what on earth this, uh, this embarrassment is. Uh, we've, over the past decade, gradually been able to figure out uh, where it is and been able to map out, map out where it is. Now uh, we're, we're turning on to the next step of figuring out uh, what it is and what can it possibly do. Richard Massey, thank you very much indeed for taking the time to explain that to us. Thank you very much.